Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sound Off Signals booth here at FDIC 2021. We're here with Doug Baker, who is Senior Vice President of Technology and Chief Innovations Officer. Welcome and thank you for talking to us today. Uh, thank, so, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So, so tell us about Sound Off Signal. So Sound Off Signal, we've been in business for 30 years. Uh, what, what's interesting about Sound Off Signal, it was founded by safety and rooted in safety. So, so while you see us in lighting and, and other products, uh, it's, it's always been there from the beginning. Oh, that's awesome. So the, um, you have some products that you'd like to talk about today. So tell us about what makes you different and what's your products that you're offering here today and gonna be showing. Yeah, so sure. So out of the last 30 years, obviously the technology in lighting has changed. We've gone from flash tubes and light bulbs, everything's high power, solid state and LED right now. So while the technology on the inside of the lights, uh, if you will, has changed, we've also changed the technology on the outside of the lights and like to go into that a little bit more. So you see, typically you have uh, either a plastic lens or maybe even a glass outer lens uh, on the light. Well, uh, both of those have some trade-offs. What we have done is come out with an optical grade silicone lens system. And in that, we can utilize all the high temperature properties that the fire market knows and loves uh, in silicone, um, as well as we can do very unique, highly efficient uh, lighting designs within that. As well, we can mold not only optics, but, but structural housing and the seal all in one part. So we're helping our reliability uh, also go up as well by not having so many extra parts. Yeah. Well, that's part of what the, uh, what the that's what makes sound off signal different, correct? It is, it is. We, can, we keep looking, our job is looking forward and we're trying to answer a bigger picture. So the lighting is one part of it, but we're not done with that. Um, how do you make the lighting control? So, so many of our lights have one, two, three different colors going on, all now in the same light head. So we've tried to bring smart controls also in that. And the controls are not controls just for an operator to turn on and off we're integrating them right in the vehicle. So it's talking with the vehicle and automating those tasks so the driver doesn't have to spend time worrying about lighting and signaling. They can focus on the job they need to do. Yes, well, firefighters like all different kinds of lights. They like to be able to have different sequencing and it sounds like that's something that you're able to program in. We are, and, and each department has things that work uniquely for them. Uh, many are steeped deeply in tradition that it mm -hmm. always we want it to be this way because that's what's effective for us. But in a different part of the country, they may, may need it differently. And that's why the programmable controls are adjustable to make it really the right solution for you. So what is your spectrum of colors? Do you have a spectrum of colors you can do on these lights? So the regulations dictate what, what the spectrum of colors are in, in signal and warning lights. So those are really the primary colors. Understood. Yeah. 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 So, but we're not done there yet. Uh, so Tell so, us more. So <laughs> yeah, so we have cool LED lighting uh, and the, as the technology uh, goes up in, in all the signal lighting, which is, I like to look at that as visual communication. How, how the emergency equipment needs to visually communicate to its surroundings is very important. So by having lighting technology, now with those integrated control technology, what happens once they're too bright? Now we've all figured out how to make bright lights. Well, now I'm relying on research partners. So I've gone out into research and I'm looking at the human science of what makes that communication most effective. Uh, for examples where a bunch of different equipment, all blinking and flashing. That, and I think we've all seen it, right? Mm -hmm. It's so bright that it just hurts. You just have to, it just, it just hurts your eyes. to see. Yeah. Well, that's not as safe as it could be. So by using some lighting strategies, uh, we've measured you know, a big population of, of people and we have found some solutions that help, uh, in this case, help you identify a responder in a scene of all the sea of lights up to two seconds quicker. And for a, an approaching vehicle at 60 miles an hour, two seconds is huge, huge in safety. Yes. And if we can help one more person get home at the end of the day, that's what we're here for. Yeah. And even as health responders at the scene, if the lights are not quite so bright and they're adequate to do the job, that's better because I'm a firefighter. And if you look back at the truck and lights are too bright, you can't do your job effectively. It is. In fact, we've called it calming the chaos because if it's chaotic, we can't do our best job. We're just humans, right? That's right. And once you're over overstimulated and you're and you're 
vision acuity, especially at nighttime, where the glare can be very high in different conditions, well, it's best if we don't impair our, our very dear responders, you know, who need to focus on, <laughs> on their Precisely. job. Yeah. You need to keep them safe from oncoming traffic, and you also need to keep them safe at the scene as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. By, so, providing, look, by yeah, providing good, yeah. solid light is, is a big step forward for that. It is. So, so you know, we have the tradition, uh, you know, of each department. We have this visual communication that's important uh, when, when lights are just loud and you can't tell what's going on. Think of that as just yelling. Well, mm -hmm. we need to control the conversation to be meaningful and effective. So, yes. so now lighting with controls, with science. Uh, so here at Sound Off, we would like to uh, look at that as saying this is where tradition meets technology. Yes. So thanks, Doug, very much for talking to yeah. me about Sound Off Signal. Where can customers and clients find out more about your products? Well, certainly if you're here at the show and, and we're able to see this, meet any of our team, but please visit our website at www.soundoffsignal.com. Yes, very good. For more information. Yeah. Ed, it's been great. Th thank you very much, Doug, for talking with us. And from FDIC 2021, from Sound Off Signals booth, Ed Ballum, Senior Editor for Fire Apparatus Magazine. Till we meet again, stay safe.